The vestibular system and cerebellum are indispensable for an animal's balance, spatial orientation, and coordinated movement. The vestibular system, located in the inner ear, houses specialized receptors within fluid-filled bony and membranous labyrinths. The crista ampullaris in the semicircular ducts detects angular head rotation and acceleration slash deceleration through cupula deflection, stimulating hair cells. The maculae in the utriculus and saccule sense static head position and linear acceleration via the movement of staticonia, otoliths. Signals are transmitted via the vestibular portion of cranial nerve 8 to the vestibular nuclei in the brainstem, which then project to the spinal cord, other brainstem nuclei for coordinated eye movements and contributing to motion sickness in the cerebellum. Clinical signs of vestibular disease vary by location. Unilateral peripheral vestibular disease causes asymmetric ataxia, a head tilt towards the lesion, circling towards the lesion, and rapid, short limb movements to regain balance. A hallmark is horizontal dorsal or rotatory nystagmus with a quick phase directed away from the lesion, and normal strength and postural reactions are preserved. Bilateral peripheral disease results in no postural asymmetry, a crouch stance, wide head excursions, and characteristically, an absence of nystagmus. Central vestibular lesions may present with nystagmus that changes direction or is directed towards the lesion, ipsilateral postural deficits, or dysfunction of other cranial nerves beyond 7 and 8. A unique presentation is paradoxical central vestibular syndrome, where the head tilt is opposite the central lesion, e.g., in the caudal cerebellar peduncle, but postural deficits are ipsilateral to it. Common vestibular disorders include benign idiopathic disease, otitis media interna, ototoxicity, and congenital conditions. The cerebellum acts as the great regulator of movement, coordinating and smoothing motions initiated by the upper motor neuron system, maintaining equilibrium, and regulating muscle tone. It does not initiate movement or cause paresis. Developing from the metencephalon, its intricate cortex features Purkinje neurons, which are the sole efferent axons from the cerebellar cortex, and exert an inhibitory influence on the deep cerebellar nuclei. Clinical signs of cerebellar disease are primarily characterized by cerebellar ataxia in coordination. This includes dysmetria, often hypermetria, exaggerated limb movements, especially flexion, truncal ataxia, body swaying or titubation, and a fine head and neck tremor and tension tremor. Patients often adopt a broad-based stance. Postural reactions are typically delayed and exaggerated, and the menace response may be absent despite normal vision. Lesions affecting the flocculonodular lobe or fastigial nucleus can specifically mimic vestibular system disorders. Cerebellar diseases include congenital malformations 